Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Happy 2021. I hope you guys are doing well. How is the mood this year? I want to say a big thank you for your love and support throughout 2020. I know it's been a very tough and challenging year for all of us. I really, really hope that my videos were a nice distraction from everything that was going on last year. And yeah, I wanted to say a massive thank you guys for your support and love the comments you guys always motivate me to create more new exciting content so thank you so much so today to start off 2021 I decided to film a very highly requested video which is my entire handbag collection you have been asking me to film this video for so many years so here it is, my entire handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget to come follow me on my Instagram where you can see how I style these babies. And you can see my daily outfits. I would love to see you there as well. So come say hello on my Instagram as well. Let's get started. Okay, I think I have all my Louis Vuitton bags here in front of me. So I'm gonna start with Louis. And the first bag is this Petite Mal, I bought it in Paris a couple of years ago. I always think about my favorite Paris when I see this bag, so I love, love, love it. To me, this is a timeless piece. I love it because it resembles their very iconic luggage pieces. It has this beautiful gold detailing. I wear it as an evening bag. As you can see, I have put the crossbody strap inside currently. Let me open it up so I can show you. I'm not gonna talk in too much details about these bags because I already have unboxing videos. So I'll make sure I link some of the unboxings. If you're interested, you can find all the unboxings of all my bags here on my channel. So yeah, this is the first one. The next Louis Vuitton bag is the Mini Boite Chapeau. This one made my best purchases video for 2020. I'm so happy I bought it. It was quite challenging to find this bag, but I managed to. And I'm so happy that I got it in the reversed monogram. It's slightly different to my other Louis Vuitton bags. As you can see, it has a long removable strap and you can also wear it as a belt bag. It also has this really adorable top handle. This bag turned out to be very useful because I was taking this with me on my daily walks throughout 2020 and it fits all your essentials so yeah it is so cute now I want to get the bigger boat chapeau the medium size <laughs> Okay, so this next one is not actually a bag, but I use it as a bag, so I decided to show it in this video. This is the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch. I use it as a handbag. I've put one of these Samoga inserts inside, as you can see, and I use this chain. So I'm going to show you how I use it as a handbag. I'll insert a close-up so you can see. You will guys notice throughout this entire video that I have so many Samoga inserts in most of my bags actually have Samoga inserts and I love them. I think inserts are a must because they protect your bag, they keep the shape of your bags. These inserts are made of felt and they really really keep the structure of your bag especially if you have softer lambskin bags. They prevent those bags from collapsing especially if you have a larger bag. You guys know that I I have spoken about Samoga so many times and now they have these beautiful accessories. You'll see some of them as well when I show you the rest of the bags. Now they have these chains, they have the new handle wraps that I love. They have organizers for every single handbag you can think of. They also have a beautiful range of colors. I normally tend to go for matchy matchy organizers but I do have some contrasting ones that I'll show you throughout the video again when I'm showing you the rest of the bags. To be honest I've never ever thought of buying this Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch. I decided to buy it after I saw how they turned this into a bag because I followed them on Instagram and they showed this insert and the chains and when I saw how they turned this little cutie into a bag I decided to get it so um, it is actually quite practical. The last Louis Vuitton bag that I have is the On The Go Todd that is in uh, reverse monogram on one side and the normal monogram on the other side, the giant monogram and it has the small monogram on these sides. I love this bag for traveling. It is the perfect travel bag. It also has uh, shoulder straps which is great. I also have a Samoga insert inside as you can see and I have 
one of their new uh, handle wraps which are so adorable perfect for winter when it's cold so yeah this bag I use mainly for traveling I don't use it on a daily basis a lot anymore this used to be my work bag but now that I work from home I don't need this as my work bag anymore this also fits my MacBook Pro 13 inch but you can watch the unboxing I have a very detailed unboxing of what fits uh, how it looks on so if you're interested I'll make sure I link it up here in this corner so yeah go check it out next is my one and only YSL bag I had another one you might remember I unboxed another YSL bag in the summer but I didn't end up wearing that one it wasn't very I didn't find it very practical so I ended up giving that one to a family member and I currently only have this this is my only YSL, I think it's such a beautiful classic style. YSL bags don't date. Their logo is so timeless, so classic. I love this one because it is a beautiful bronzy color. You can't find this one anymore. It was a seasonal piece. So this bag I have worn as an evening bag. I mainly wear it as an everyday bag, especially during the winter months with coats. It looks so beautiful and I love the chevron detailing and the, uh, together with the quilting it is so beautiful. It has a back pocket and a long strap. My most recent bag in my collection is this beautiful Fendi baguette, another very timeless style. I love the baguette, it's been around for so many years. I love this one because it's so different, it's shielding, I really wanted a shielding bag for winter, the colder months, it looks so cozy and cute like a little teddy bear and I love the gold hardware with the patent detailing. So yeah, I recently showed you this in my What I Got For Christmas video. I have a huge What I Got For Christmas video on my channel. So in case you've missed it, I'll link it up here. I spoke about this bag more there. So if you're interested, go check it out. I have one more Fendi bag, which is the classic peekaboo. This is two in one. You basically get two bags with this cover. <laughs> this is just a cover. Uh, look at this beauty. Naked without the cover so this is a Fendi cover that I use and it gives the bag a completely different vibe and look this bag still to this day is one of my all-time favorite bags there is something about this bag that I absolutely love I really really love the color I love the very simple design it is such an understated bag a very very iconic bag from Fendi if you're thinking about buying a bag from Fendi this is the one to go for these constantly go up in price the current price now I was shocked when I saw it is double than what I paid when I bought this I would say four and a half years ago probably now the price is double so because the style is so simple I love accessorizing my bag and I love the accessories that Fendi does for these bags so they have these beautiful straps they have the pom-poms do you guys remember those i have the carlito i have two monsters as well and i have so many fendi twillies so i changed these up depending on the season so now we are in winter so i've put it the monogrammed you can't really tell but this is the monogrammed um twilly oh and mine is in the mini size one of my most worn bags is my Dior 30 Montan. This is the uh, Dior Montan in the crinkled calfskin leather in navy. I love the color. I love the combination of navy blue and gold. I think it's so beautiful. It's perfect for every day. This bag is so comfortable. I don't know what it is. It fits everything that I need. It is super comfortable. It looks great with everything. The design is very plain. It is very understated. The logo, you can't really tell it's Dior if you're not a luxury lover, if you're not into luxury brands, you wouldn't be able to tell this is a designer bag. It has a back pocket and I love the embossed 30 Montan. Can you guys see? Is it showing? Can you guys see? 30 Montan embossed on the back. So beautiful. Next is my very very beautiful Lady Dior bag, probably one of the prettiest bags that I own. This is everyone's favorite bag. Every time I have friends over when they're looking at my bag collection they always say how beautiful this bag is and every time I wear it I get so many compliments. I think it's the color, the color is so unique. This is the color Fard 
and it means I think blush pink like a blush color it is a darker dusty pink color so it's quite easy to style I don't really wear this bag as much as I want to I don't know maybe it's because it's lambskin it's quite delicate I don't really wear it as much plus my style is normally quite casual so I tend to go for some of the more casual everyday bags but I have still worn this quite a lot whenever I have an event or for an evening out I use this bag also I tend to wear this bag more during the warmer summer months so spring summer I pull this baby out more so this has champagne gold hardware as you can see and this is the My Lady Dior style with the thicker strap with the charms. I have my initials MD with a star. I will insert a close up so you can see and it also has the flap closure which is a bit more convenient than the zipper one. Okay, let's start with my favourite brand, Chanel. I love buying Chanel bags. I'm so happy that I managed to grow my Chanel collection. I definitely want to keep buying Chanel because I love their bags. I think they're so beautiful, so iconic. I want to have all the colours, okay, in Chanel bags. So the first baby that I'm starting with is this. This is a very recent purchase. Again, the beautiful, I'm not sure if it's showing. This is iridescent white. It looks like a little pearl. This is my one and only round style in Chanel bags and I've already worn it quite a lot. It doesn't fit much, but I would say it's the same size as the mini boat chapeau from Louis Vuitton, but without the top handle and also the strap is not removable or adjustable. <laughs> you can't do that with the uh, Chanel round bag. My little pearl, very unique, very unicorn -y color it changes it looks green or purple in certain lighting so beautiful i love iridescent special edition bags from chanel talking about special iridescent unicorns this is the next one in my collection the boy bag you might remember this i bought this it must have been four almost five years ago maybe even five years ago this was from a cruise collection as far as i remember this bag was sold out at the first day of the launch within a couple of hours i was so lucky to get this bag it also came in green which i absolutely love as well i should have bought the green one as well but i only got this beautiful purple which looks gray in certain lighting it even Sometimes it could look greenish as well. It's so beautiful, such a unique color. So because this one was so popular, Chanel actually released another purple iridescent, I think a year after they launched this one. But this is still my favorite purple iridescent that they have done so far. They did something similar with the previous collection, but again, it wasn't the same. <laughs> Next is my mini rectangular. It's like a mousy gray color. It's so beautiful. I wear this a lot, especially during the winter months. I, because of the color, of course, I would wear this more in the winter. It is so beautiful. It has champagne gold hardware and this one is in lambskin. So this is not considered a classic style from Chanel, but it resembles the Chanel classic bags the most. The mini ones, the square mini and the rectangular minis are not classic styles from Chanel. However, these are very popular because of the lower price points and they're also great as everyday bags. And as you can see again, I have a Samorga insert inside in a matching grey colour. Let's take the rest of the bags from the shelving unit behind me. So it looks a bit weird now that it's empty. But anyway, moving on with my beautiful Coco Hando. This is again one of my favourite bags in my collection. I wear this bag a lot. I think it's because of the colour. It is so beautiful. It goes with everything. It is a very elegant style. So I love to wear this for events. It's also great as an evening bag. I have worn this bag very casual with sneakers as well. It goes with everything. I know it looks almost white. In some of my pictures on Instagram, I have so many pictures on Instagram with this bag. It looks white, but it's actually a very light gray color with champagne gold hardware. It is in caviar. The strap is removable. It is a tiny little baby, but don't let it fool you. It actually fits a lot. It has two compartments and the first, the front compartment is 
quite large and it fits so much. So I love, love, love this bag, very practical. This NYX Chanel bag I bought last summer from the Metier Dab collection and this is such a unique, very unique, special piece from Chanel. This was very difficult to get hold of, especially in this colorway because every bag was different. The way the paint was sprayed, it was different and I wanted something with a lot of color. This is the most unique one I have seen. I was so lucky to find this little baby. So this is the classic Riche style from Chanel. It has a different lock as you can see. This is the original Chanel lock that Coco Chanel created and this is the bag inside. It is gold but I have, the lining is gold but I have another Samorga pink insert. And I love the chain. The chains on the Rishu style are so, so beautiful. So this bag I actually use a lot, even now in the winter. I like to wear it in the winter months with a nice snuggly jumper. And uh, I love pastel colors. And this one is so colorful. Again, it goes with everything. I can match it with so many different outfits. So to me, this is not only a summer, spring, summer bag. I wear this now as well in the colder months. Let's continue with the classics. This is my current favorite bag in my collection. I have mentioned this, I think, in my previous video. This is my small classic double flap bag in this beautiful lemony color. I have an unboxing video, so I'll make sure I link it if you want to see it in more detail. It has the beautiful champagne gold hardware. As I said, this is a small size and inside you can see it, it has an insert, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't, but I do have an insert for it. I don't know why it's out, I need to put it back in. I love, love this bag so much, it's such a happy color. I always feel so happy and positive every time I wear this bag. So, such a great choice, I'm so happy I got it. This is a seasonal color and you don't see many people with yellow bags, so I like that this one stands out. It is such a beauty, I absolutely love it. I think this next one might be everyone's favorite, the Beige Claire in medium. This is another classic style from Chanel in the size medium, caviar, uh, beige Claire color with beautiful gold hardware. This is such a dream bag. It was so difficult to get this bag. I have been wanting this bag for so many years. I have a big unboxing, I got this for my birthday last year and I couldn't believe that I finally found my dream bag. You guys know how difficult this exact combination is to find so I'm so so happy that it's finally mine. The ultimate classic beautiful Chanel bag. Let me open it up so you can see inside the same double flap. It is stuffed, it has the uh, dust bag. And I think an organizer, yes, it has an organizer. See, I keep my Samoga inserts inside this one. I had to get an organizer for it. So yeah, this one is everyone's favorite, right? Am I right? Let me know which one is your favorite bag from my collection. <laughs> And next we have the queen of them all, the classic Chanel Jumbo. This is a very, very popular bag. I'm sure many of you have this bag in your collection as well. Unfortunately, I don't wear this bag that much anymore. I do wear it as a casual bag actually a lot. It is great as a casual bag because it is so big, but it is very, very heavy. It really digs in my shoulder when I wear it. I do wear it crossbody sometimes. Actually recently I've been using this as a top handle a lot because it really digs in my shoulder. I can't believe, oh my god, I can't believe how much these have gone up in price. I bought mine five years ago for three and a half thousand pounds and these are now, what, seven? Seven something? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> my next Chanel bag is this Trendy that I bought this year. This is my second Trendy bag. I should have started with the other one probably, but this was the first one I grabbed. So it has this Fendi M charm on it in blue. I really like it. I love this style. I love the Trendy. It is the perfect medium sized bag for every day. 
it has a strap so you can crossbody it, you can wear it as a top handle bag, you can wear it on one shoulder. It fits so much inside, it is divided in three, three compartments and again, I don't know if you can see, I have the matching Samoga inserts inside. So I absolutely love this colour. This is in lambskin, beautiful quilted lambskin leather in this very beautiful bright uh, jewel blue colour. I absolutely love it. My favourite however of the two is this green baby. You guys know how much I love green. I love this shade of green, it goes with everything and this one is in the chevron so it's slightly different. It is again in lambskin with gold, champagne gold hardware, again inside it is the same, three compartments, it has the long chain. This, you guys know how much I love this bag, I have so many pictures with this bag on my Instagram so if you want to see how I like to wear it and style it, you can check my Instagram. Next is my Chanel Gabrielle and this bag I mentioned in my recent video, I wanted to sell this bag but I told you guys if I don't get the price I'm asking for it, I'll just keep it because I love this bag, I love the Gabrielle style, it is perfect for every day and this one is very special because it's from the Paris Hamburg collection, it is in wool, it is so so beautiful, I love the Chanel writing on the front as well. The only reason I wanted to sell this bag is because there is another bag that I want to buy and they're quite similar. Let me just show you inside, look how spacious it fits everything. This will be a great travel bag as well. Now that I mentioned traveling, this is my other bag that I'll use as a travel bag, my big Chanel duffel bag. I use this as a gym bag currently, but I can definitely use this for traveling. Again, I have this beautiful, look at this, bright blue, baby blue uh, Samoga insert to keep the shape because this bag is very soft, <laughs> it collapses so the Samoga organizer keeps it up, can you guys see it doesn't collapse and it keeps the shape of the bag. I showed you this bag recently a couple of times <laughs> so if you're interested again I will link the unboxing where you can see this bag in more detail. I use it for the gym, it's perfect, it has the long strap which is removable, it has this padding so when it gets heavy, it is quite comfortable when you put it on your shoulder. Okay, I just realized I'm missing two bags and I know where they are, but it's getting really dark and I'm trying to end this video very fast, so I don't have time to go and grab them, so I'll just insert some clips. I still have my Chanel Dorville, which actually I want to sell because I don't wear it. I'll insert some clips. I store it under the bed. <laughs> it's under my bed. <laughs> I haven't really used that bag. I've used it a couple of times only, and since then I would say it's been in storage for probably more than six months. I wanted to keep it because it's so beautiful, very classic style from Chanel, but I just don't wear it. I was planning to wear it as a gym bag, but it doesn't really work that well as a gym bag, and I also was planning to wear it as a travel bag, but because it's fabric, I thought it will get dirty very quick, so I think I will let that one go. The other bag that's currently under my bed <laughs> is one of my uh, send rev bags, the pink bag. I will insert a clip of the pink maestra, midi maestra bag that I have from send rev. This was my first ever send rev bag and I still love it. I love the color. However, I find it a bit difficult to style. I don't know why. So that's why it is in storage. However, I have two other send rev bags that I use more. So this is the other one. It is the exact same size, the Midi Maestra in this beautiful burgundy color. And I have worn this as a work bag a lot. <laughs> Before I got the Louis Vuitton on the go, this was my work bag. It is very durable. It is very understated. You can tell it is a designer brand and I love the colour, it's very very practical, it has a beautiful baby blue suede lining inside and so many pockets so you can organise all your documents and laptop, it fits a laptop, it fits a tablet, it also can be worn as a backpack. My favourite Tenrev bag however is this yellow baby, I love this colour, it is so beautiful, I have worn this a lot during the summer, 
it is such a beautiful happy color very durable again this is in the smaller size which i think i actually prefer it's great as an everyday bag also it's great for travel bag because it's very secure because of the lock and the zip inside it is pretty much the same it still has quite a few compartments inside and the beautiful baby blue lining and it could be worn as a backpack as well it has a long strap but this one i tend to wear a lot as a top handle bag the color is so beautiful and i think actually this is everyone's favorite color because you guys loved it when i unboxed this one okay guys that's all i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you so so much for watching don't forget to check the description i'll make sure i link everything down below and i'll see you very very soon in my next video bye guys